Introduction The plethora of diets available can make it difficult to know where to start and which ones are truly effective. Fortunately, the author has done the research for you by trying out various diet plans and exercises, and sharing the information he gathered through personal experience. This provides readers with body hacks that can be easily integrated into their daily lives, supported by evidence from multiple sources including medical practitioners and top athletes. This summary outlines some of the main techniques the author discovered for losing weight, gaining muscle, improving sex life, sleeping better, and enhancing athletic performance. It includes tips on how to cheat sleep and remain functional throughout the day, the secret to achieving female orgasm, and what to eat for weight loss. By following the author's advice, readers can make informed decisions about their diet and exercise habits and achieve their desired results without wasting time or falling for fads. Chapter 1. To achieve a good body, it is essential to dedicate yourself to the task. The author spent a decade working with renowned athletes and scientists, offering himself as a test subject for unconventional fitness methods to determine the most effective way to achieve a good body. Through this process, the author learned the importance of the minimum effective dose, MED, a concept created by Arthur Jones, a leading specialist in exercise science. The MED identifies the minimum amount of effort required to produce the desired outcome, with anything more than the MED being unfavorable. Brian McKenzie, a triathlete and Ironman competitor, successfully applied the MED approach to his training schedule, minimizing his training hours to 6.5 per week, consisting of strength training, crossfit, and pace work. His body trained to become aerobic at maximum speed, which was more effective than high volume and low speed training. Before implementing the MED approach, individuals must first experience a Harajuku moment, which refers to the instant when one realizes the need to do something. The term comes from Chad Fowler, CTO of InfoEther, who had his Harajuku moment while vacationing in Tokyo. While shopping in Harajuku, he realized that he couldn't find anything he liked because he was overweight and said out loud that it didn't matter what he wore because he wouldn't look good anyway. This was his Harajuku moment causing him to question why he was successful in every aspect of his life except for his health. Fowler began to take better care of his health by watching what he ate and doing cardio training three to four times a week. A year after his Harajuku moment, he lost 32 kg. Achieving a good body requires dedication and effort. The MED approach, which identifies the minimum amount of effort required to produce the desired outcome, is effective in achieving optimal results. However, individuals must first have a Harajuku moment, which is the moment they realize the need to do something about their health. This realization can motivate individuals to take better care of themselves, leading to positive changes and better health outcomes. Chapter 2. There are many diets out there that promise weight loss, but one that has been proven to work is the slow-carb diet. The author was able to lose 9 kilograms in 30 days without exercising by following the five rules of the slow-carb diet. The first rule is to avoid white carbohydrates such as bread, rice, potatoes, pasta, and cereal. The second rule is to stick to three categories of food, main proteins, legumes, and vegetables. The third rule is to avoid drinking calories in the form of milk, fruit juice, and soft drinks. Instead, drink plenty of water and unsweetened tea and coffee. The fourth rule is to avoid eating fruit, with the exception of tomatoes and avocados. Finally, the fifth rule is to allow yourself a cheat day once a week to increase metabolism and stimulate fat loss. To make the slow-carb diet more effective, it's essential to eat a protein-rich breakfast. Skipping breakfast can lead to overeating in the evening and slow down weight loss including at least 20 grams of protein in your breakfast within the first hour of waking can reduce cravings for carbs. Examples of protein-rich breakfast foods include eggs, cottage cheese, protein shakes, and turkey bacon. The slow-carb diet is an effective way to lose weight, and it's essential to follow the five rules, including avoiding white carbohydrates, sticking to three food categories, avoiding drinking calories, avoiding fruit, and allowing yourself a cheat day. Additionally, eating a protein-rich breakfast is crucial to reducing cravings and promoting weight loss. Chapter 3. Tracy Rekind was overweight for most of her life, 
weighing 111 kilograms at the age of 41. Her husband Mark Rekind, a former powerlifting coach for the U.S. national teams, introduced her to the Russian kettlebell swing, which is an effective way to lose fat rapidly. The swing involves three steps. Deadlift the kettlebell between your legs, swing it back and forth, and focus on swinging it behind your legs and up below your buttocks. By following this regimen twice a week for 15 to 20 minutes, Tracy lost over 45.1 kilograms in weight and 20.4 kilograms of fat in three months. Neil Strauss, a best-selling author of the game, had a different goal. He wanted to gain muscle and followed the author's Occam's protocol method. This method involves weightlifting exercises, including the overhead squat, where you perform 10 squats and lift a barbell at the same time. To do this, position both feet slightly further apart than shoulder width and a foot in front of your hips, bend your knees to 45 degrees, and ensure your thighs are parallel to the floor. By switching between the Occam's protocol method and the Russian kettlebell swing, Strauss gained 4.5 kilograms of muscle in a month. The Russian kettlebell swing is an effective way to lose fat rapidly by following three steps that involve deadlifting, swinging, and focusing on the swing behind your legs and up below your buttocks. The Occam's protocol method is an effective way to gain muscle by performing weightlifting exercises such as the overhead squat. By combining these two methods, individuals can achieve their desired fitness goals. Chapter 4 Sex researcher Cher Height found that more than two-thirds of American women fail to reach orgasm during intercourse, and almost 50% of them can't orgasm at all, according to sexologist Alfred Kinsey. However, women can improve their chances of experiencing orgasms by changing the angle and pressure of sex positions. Adult movie star Nina Hartley suggests adjusting the angle of penetration to touch the woman's G-spot and altering the pressure so that the man's pelvic bone is in contact with the woman's clitoris. This can be achieved in the missionary position by placing a pillow under the woman's lower back to elevate her hips and keeping the man's hips as close as possible to the woman's hips by kneeling. Hartley suggests that the man should move his hips in small circular motions or side to side to ensure his pelvic bone hits the clitoris. Another way to improve sex is to increase libido by upping testosterone or luteinizing hormone, LH, levels. LH is responsible for ovulation and strongly linked to the female libido. To increase testosterone or LH levels in the short term, individuals should eat at least 800 mg of cholesterol a few hours before bed, such as four hard-boiled eggs, one night before having sex. This is because both testosterone and LH are made from cholesterol, which is produced most efficiently during the night. Better sex can be achieved by changing the angle and pressure of sex positions, such as adjusting the penetration angle to touch the G-spot and altering the pressure to ensure the pelvic bone hits the clitoris. Increasing testosterone or LH levels can also improve libido, which can be achieved by consuming cholesterol-rich foods before bed. Chapter 5 if you suffer from insomnia and struggle to fall asleep, there are a couple of techniques you can try to improve your sleep quality. Taking a cold bath one hour before bedtime can help trigger sleep. The idea is to fill a bathtub with two to three bags of ice and sit in it for 10 minutes before sleeping. This method was suggested by a sleep biology professor at Stanford in 2002 and has been effective for the author of the article and many others around the world. In addition, Instead of aiming for the classic 8 hours of shut eye, you can aim for 2 hours of rapid eye movement, REM, sleep daily. REM is the most critical stage in the sleep cycle for memory and regulating emotions. You can trick your body into entering the REM phase more quickly by making it believe it won't get enough sleep. You can try the everyman method, which involves having one core sleep of 4.5 hours and two further 20-minute naps. This method allows you to feel fresh and awake on only 5.2 hours of sleep each day. Alternatively, you can try the Uberman method, which instructs you to take 20-minute naps once every 4 hours, 6 times a day. It's crucial to stick to the designated 20 minutes and not miss a nap by more than 30 minutes. The first two weeks of adapting to a new sleeping pattern may be challenging. However, Mastering this technique can lead to functioning on only 2 hours of sleep per day instead of 8. Insomnia is a common problem where the brain won't switch off, 
and various tactics such as counting sheep, turning on the TV, and changing sleeping positions are ineffective. Taking a cold bath and aiming for two hours of REM sleep can improve sleep quality and help with insomnia. The Everyman method and the Uberman method are two techniques that can be tried to achieve two hours of REM sleep and function on only a few hours of sleep each day. It's essential to stick to the designated nap times and not miss them by more than 30 minutes. While it may be challenging to adapt to a new sleep pattern, mastering these techniques can lead to increased productivity due to having more time available. Chapter 6. If you are an aspiring football player, improving your vertical jump and running technique can be crucial to getting noticed by NFL coaches and talent scouts. Joe DeFranco is an expert who can help increase an athlete's vertical jump in just two days. By starting the jump with arms overhead and using upper body strength to swing arms down as fast as possible, an athlete can jump higher. Additionally, avoiding a wide squat is vital as it can reduce the jump by 1 to 2 inches. However, improving the vertical jump alone is not enough to receive an offer from an NFL team. Running technique is also a critical criterion that players need to master, and the pose method can help with this. The pose method was created by Nicholas S. Romanov during his PhD in physical education at the Russian Academy of Physical Culture and Sports. The technique involves using gravity to build speed and leaning forward instead of solely relying on muscular exertion. Athletes should make contact with the ground using the balls of their feet, keep their knees slightly bent at all times, and move their effort towards their buttocks, rather than pushing off with their feet. The ideal stride rate is a minimum of 90 steps per minute per leg. In the world of football, an inch or a fifth of a second can make all the difference between getting noticed by NFL coaches and talent scouts or not. Aspiring football players can improve their chances by working on their vertical jump and running technique. Joe DeFranco is an expert who can help increase an athlete's vertical jump in just two days by focusing on upper body strength and avoiding a wide squat. The pose method can help improve running technique by using gravity to build speed and focusing on the ball of the feet, slightly bent knees, and moving effort towards the buttocks. By mastering these techniques, aspiring football players can increase their chances of receiving offers from NFL teams. Chapter 7. Improving running speed and swimming distance can be achieved in a short amount of time with specific techniques. For example, world-renowned coach Barry Ross uses the competition conditioning technique, where the objective is to walk 100 meters in under 23.8 seconds. To achieve this goal, athletes train to walk as fast as they can for 15 minutes and push themselves to walk further with each session. The training is effective because the walker feels that the movement is inefficient and has a desire to jog, leading to baseline conditioning for competing. Similarly, the total immersion technique can help improve swimming distance. The technique involves focusing on turning the body when breathing in instead of relying on arm pulling or leg kicking. Athletes should look straight down to maintain a horizontal body position, use the momentum of each downstroke to propel themselves as far as possible, and stretch the underwater arm and turn the body completely to the side when taking a breath. By increasing stroke length rather than stroke rate, athletes can reduce the number of strokes per lap and achieve greater swimming distances with the same number of strokes. Allison Felix, a 17-year-old student, broke her high school's 200 meters sprint record and later broke the 200 meters world record after a year of training with Barry Ross. The competition conditioning technique was one of Ross's main training techniques, and it helped Felix achieve baseline conditioning for competing. Improving athletic skills does not always require extensive training. Specific techniques such as competition conditioning and total immersion can lead to significant improvements in a short amount of time. By practicing these techniques, athletes can attain results faster than they ever dreamed possible. Conclusion if you want to lose weight and gain muscle, follow the minimum effective dose method and avoid white carbohydrates like rice, pasta, and bread. To maximize time for other pursuits, train yourself to get by on just two hours of REM sleep. You can also improve your running and swimming skills with the competition conditioning and total immersion techniques. In addition, adding one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon to your daily diet can help you feel fuller faster by reducing your glycemic levels by 29 percent 
Glycemic levels reflect the amount of carbohydrates in food and their impact on blood sugar levels. Consuming 1.5 teaspoons of freshly ground cinnamon, preferably Saigon cinnamon, can aid in weight loss.